All right, so this is the Swisher. Swisher rotary grinder. It's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. Uh, it's a nice little package. It's got all those flash guards you need. You've got a coolant system. It's got a nice looking chuck here. Uh, operator's panel, electrical panel on this side. Your down feed hand wheel on top. Um, so this obviously is for setting up a bunch of parts on here or one part or different rings or whatever. Your grinding wheel is right underneath here flat. When you want to dress it, you put a regular diamond on the, on the magnet and you bring it across the diamond just like that. Uh, it's one way of doing it. Your down feed, again, is up here. You bring this down until you touch off your workpiece. You have a dial that you can loosen and set to zero. And you have a automatic cycle where it will feed down uh, whatever amount you put in it and stop. Uh, so right now we'll just uh, start the table. And you have a potentiometer here to, to slow down the magnet and do whatever you want with it. The outside of the magnet, you got a ring that when you loosen up these nuts, you can tap that ring up uh, to have uh, a, a railing, that ring around the chuck. Starting in the grinding wheel. Now we got the grinding wheel on. So you've got a jog where we can come down. If I have it in power. Okay, you got a switch here for feed, power, and manual. So for power, uh, we want to do that. So that comes down goes quicker than you think, so it also has a, a low that goes much slower. Okay, so let's say, uh, I put this, I'll put this at zero. If you can see that up there, that's it. basically at zero now. It's zero. Each line is one thousandths. Uh, that's five thousandths, that's ten thousandths. So over here I've got uh, ten thousandths uh, dialed into this uh, dial switch, this thumb switch, and I've got a, a, a ten for a feed rate, a down feed rate. So if, as long as I have the feed on power, there's a button here to start the feed, and when I start it, this slowly moves down. Now the speed that that moves is set by the PLC. This has a step motor, this is a step motor control. It's going to go to the point uh, that I've got programmed in there. You got a meter here, a load meter. You got an a emergency stop. You got your chuck on and off, coolant on and off, table stop, start, wheel start and stop. Um, I could stop the feed by pressing the stop feed button. Now we're coming down to 10. When it gets to 10, you'll probably see this light go out. There it goes. So they got a switch here called inspect and return. So if you put it on inspect, it backs up. Five thousands. Now you can, you know, you're supposed to be feeding this the whole time, by the way, while it's going down. But now you can stop your chuck and check your part and see if it came out on size. And if not, then you, you know, I guess you would finish it up by hand. Uh, so when you everything is said and done, you put this return back on, and it goes right back to where you were. And now you could either leave it there or take a little less material for your next part or a little bit more for, uh, for this part. So it's pretty nice, pretty nice machine. This is it, this is a Swisher. All the details will be on the website. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much.